Holy guacamole! This thing actually works. One point one point one point one. That's four, right? One, two, three, four. Okay. Anyways, uh, this thing has been going around as uh, that it makes your internet faster as soon as you change your DNS settings. So that means you either change it on your specific device or you change it in your router yourself. There's a lot of tech guys doing this and showing videos of, about it, but they don't really show you on how to do that. So I'm gonna go into my router myself and I'm gonna try and show you and explain myself the best way I can for you guys to be able to do this. Now, first off, you need to go into your router and uh, to get in your router, there is a specific uh, either IP address or website with a password that you need to put in. So usually if you set up your own router, you should already know this. If you did not set up your own router, then most likely the information will still be the same. Usually uh, the username is admin and the password is password. Uh, again, password as a password is password. Sounds weird <laughs> repeating it, but if you did not set it up, that's what it is. If you did set it up and you forgot all that information, you could just reset the router and uh, re-register yourself again with your information and all that stuff. But the password and all that stuff should be labeled behind. But DNS, that is what you're supposed to change on your router once you get in there. So you could either get in through the computer itself or through the phone which I'm doing, uh, doing here. So once you type in the IP address or the uh, or the website address, uh, which these three blue numbers on the top right here, uh, 192, 192, blah blah blah, those are the top three ones that you will pretty much end up going into. But once you get in there, uh, you click on Advanced Settings or Advanced and then into settings and then once you find the dns server you, there's a, an option whether you could click to keep it as for it to do it automatically or if you want to do it manually so obviously in this case you want to do it manually uh, so they give you three options they give you um one dns second dns third dns in this case, I only switched out the first two. The first one being 1111, the second one being 1001. Those two are the ones that are supposedly are being said to work faster. Uh, so far I'm trying it out and it does, it does kind of work, but there is something that I didn't notice which hopefully will not ruin my gaming gaming experience. I highly doubt it, but we'll see at the end. As far as the third one goes, I actually left that alone. I did not touch it. I seen that you could just put 0000, but I rather left it as a, actually a, a third option. So uh, yeah, as soon as you get in there, you just change those settings. Make sure that you actually save or take a snap of the original DNS uh, uh, servers that you had in there. So just in case if you don't like how this one performs, you could just type those ones back in there. And if you did not, uh, or for some reason forgot, you could just reset your router again and it'll do it by itself. It does have the option for it to do it by itself uh, as soon as you click uh, automatic. So. There's that, but just in case if that doesn't work, you always want to be safe and save uh, information that might be crucial to what you're doing or changing. But anyways, like I said, usually advertisements play or come up faster than the actual content that you're looking for. But this time, the content videos or, or, or whatever website you're looking at loads faster than the uh, advertisements. Uh, so, so far, so good. I'm, I'm actually kind of liking it. 
Uh, so hopefully this video helped you guys out. If not, uh, if you got any questions, leave them down below. Uh, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more how-to and tech videos.